So each country has their regulatory bodies. What about the IEEE and what about the Wi-Fi Alliance? You have heard these names, what do they do? Well, it's actually very different. The IEEE first, you have the name here, the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. This is an organization that spans the entire world and that defines protocols. So what they do is that they decide what protocol should be used for what application. So in the case of Wi-Fi, they are the ones who said, well, if you want to communicate between two stations or between a station and an access point, you can use that kind of wave that would be carrying that kind of modulation, that kind of coding, that kind of frame can be used to exchange that kind of message, etc., etc. So basically, they define 802.11 as we use it. They define a standard. Its latest edition is about 4,000 pages. A very interesting read. But you imagine 4,000 pages? That's a lot of protocol because there are a lot of cases they think about. And also, in many of these cases, they design more than one solution. They design a solution where you know, the station and access point would have the same right to do this and that, and another case where, in the same circumstance, the AP would be taking over and would be directing the station to do this and that. But no station, no vendor, nobody implements everything in the 802.11 standard. First of all, because there are cases that do not apply to you. For example, there is a mesh design type of section in the 802.11. If you design Wi-Fi for your home, you don't care about mesh. So not everything applies to your case. But also, even if it applies to your case, there are several solutions. And you may decide to implement one, while some other vendor may decide to implement another one. And that's where the Wi-Fi Alliance comes into play. The Wi-Fi Alliance is not a group of individuals, whereas the IEEE is a group of individuals. Individual, of course, representing companies, but you join the IEEE as an individual and you mention who pays you, pays your salary so that they know if you may be influenced by somebody. But you present your contributions as an individual. In the Wi-Fi Alliance, there is no individual. There are only companies, and these companies are represented by individuals, but you are not representing yourself. You're always representing your company. And what they do is that they get together and say, what is missing today in wireless, in Wi-Fi? And they decide of performance or compatibility or tests that would be better for people to better use Wi-Fi with more ease. And that's why the Wi-Fi Alliance does, design certifications. In other words, whenever they work on a project which could be anything from improving quality of service to battery saving to better speed. And that's probably how you know the Wi-Fi lines because of 802.11n, wave 2, wave uh, 2 AC, wave 1 AC, etc. But they do many other things. So every time they work on one specific topic, what they try to do is to come together with a selection of items from the 802.11 standard that would be interesting to improve the way people use Wi-Fi today. And they design a series of tests to make sure that all vendors working on this group agree to implement the same way those features from the 802.11 standard. And that gives you a Wi-Fi Alliance certification on your device. You know these Wi-Fi certifications for speed, but there are many others. When you say PowerSave, WMM, that's another one. They have many certifications, they have many programs. So again, Wi-Fi Alliance is not here to make sure that you implement 802.11, everything of it. What they're here for is to make sure that whoever works in a specific group targeted at improving Wi-Fi in a certain angle, implement the same way, the same items out of 802.11. So you see it's very different from what IEEE does and very different from just certifying that you are Wi-Fi because you certify that you are 802.11. It's only part of it with a certain angle. As a side note, Wi-Fi itself appeared in 2002 and was ratifying uh, the speed 802.11b that we'll talk about in the next module.